In this project, I'll show you how to make a glowing LED yo-yo using Adafruit Circuit Playground. It's 3D printed and tug responsive, so it's easy to wind up after a throw. It also spins for a couple of seconds, giving you enough time to pull off a few tricks. This is a derivative of Morgan Stewart's Circuit Playground yo-yo. You can check out her version and see it in action on Adafruit Show & Tell. We'll have it linked below. In this remix, we'll use a single circuit playground and a slide switch adapter so it's easy to turn on and off the LEDs. I designed it in Fusion 360 so it's parametric and relatively easy to make adjustments. I made sure to leave a hole for the USB port so it's easy to reprogram. It's a six-piece assembly that screws together via threads. It's only 58 millimeters or 2.2 inches in diameter so it'll fit on even the smallest 3D printer. I wanted to make the cover a separate piece so that I could diffuse the LEDs and print without any support materials. But instead of 3D printing it, I decided to mill it out of 1 inch thick acrylic. This two color acrylic is black on white, so we'll be able to diffuse the LEDs and have a nice contrasting color scheme. I used the other mill desktop CNC to cut out my design. Using a 1 16th inch flattened mill, I milled out a pocket. This ring needs to be deep enough to cut through the black color and allow for the LEDs to shine through. I then switched out the tool for a 164 inch flattened mill. This will allow me to engrave a little Adafruit logo in the center of the piece. It took about a half hour to mill the entire cover, but it came out really nice. This could also be cut on a laser cutter or of course, 3D printed. I 3D printed the rest of the pieces at 150 microns so the threads would have more layers, thus resulting in a higher quality part. And now we have all of our pieces. I'll start by gluing the acrylic cover to the twisty top using super glue. I also milled another one out of fluorescent pink transparent acrylic. So you can experiment with different colors and get different color schemes. Next, I built a slide switch adapter by trimming a JST extension cable and soldering the positive connection in line with the slide switch. Tinning the leads and exposed wires will allow us to solder these together without much fuss. Then I connected the ground wires together and added a piece of heat shrink tubing to insulate the connection. A dap of hot glue around the solder joints of the LiPo battery will add strain relief, preventing the wires from being torn. Next, I'll test it by connecting the slide switch JST adapter to the circuit playground and the other end to the LiPo battery. Now we can easily turn on and off the LEDs. I'll start assembling the yo-yo by installing the axle inside of part A. Then I'll hold it in place and twist on part B until it's fully tightened. Now I can orient the two so the holes line up with each other. A bit of super glue will permanently bond the axle to part A. Next, we can install the yo-yo string by untwisting the end and fitting it over the axle. The string will slide into a little groove along the center of the axle. Now we can thread the JST cable through part A and the axle. I'll pull it all the way through and connect it to the circuit playground board. Line up the board so the USB port faces the hole, and press it down into part A until the little nubs from the standoffs snap fit into the pins on the circuit playground. Now we can twist part B onto the axle.
Then connect the LiPo battery to the JST cable. We can then install the slide switch by pressing it down into place. The actuator will poke through so you can flick it on and off. Next, I'll need to secure the battery to the cover of part B, so I'll add a piece of mounting tack and stick it in the center. And with that in place, we can screw on the cover and tighten everything up. Lastly, we can wind up the yo-yo string, and that's pretty much it. Now you can give it a quick test spin and see if everything is balanced. I was able to get it to sleep for about 4 seconds before it came to rest. And it's easy to switch out the cover since they're just twisty tops. I hope you guys liked this project. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.